Bones can be considered connective tissue, but bones serve a very specific function for our movement. So you know from a past song that you were studying that bones are organs as well. Muscles are responsible for moving those bones. Muscles will receive the order to move those bones. When your brain decides to move, it sends that electrical signal down your nervous system. The nerve passes that information to the muscle, the muscle pulls the bone. So that means muscles must be attached to bones. Muscles attached to bones by what? Well, muscles attached by tendons. So we're gonna take a look at a tendon in just a moment. And we're gonna remember that muscles don't work alone. Muscles contract and relax by working in pairs. While one muscle will contract, another one will relax and vice versa. If they didn't do that, then a muscle would move and then it would never be able to move back. So, muscles work in pairs such as biceps and triceps. So, on the human arm, you got your bicep and you got your tricep. And when your bicep is activated, this is quite loosened up and vice versa. If you do this motion and this becomes tense and working, then this becomes looser. So they work in tandem. Now, with our chicken wing, we've got a lot of the skin removed, okay? And when we take a look closely at the chicken wing, we're going to first notice the tendon that is easiest to see. So right here, slippery, right here, it's a rope-like structure, a tendon, and it's still intact. So this muscle with this rope-like connective tissue called a tendon is connecting to the bone. And to illustrate how the chicken wing can work with working in pairs as muscles, when you squeeze one muscle, you're going to have a reaction in another area. So if this is considered like the bicep of the chicken wing, then it is causing the motion down below. It's pretty cool. If you're allowed to cut up a chicken wing, what you'll do is you'll remove the skin and you can do it really carefully with some scissors or if you're especially careful, you can cut it off with a knife as I did. You can further feel and explore what these tendons feel like. And if I disengage the tendon right there, now the muscle is no longer connected to the bone and it's not gonna be able to work the same for our action of locomotion.